we are going over everything in Eververse for week two of Lightfall, along with everything else that's happening next week, starting at the reset. We have right here an in-game message from Bungie next week in Destiny. The new raid launches March 10th. You need to be power level 1780. As long as you're 1780, you're good to go. I've made a bunch of build videos that you definitely want to watch to make sure that you stand a good chance of actually beating it within the 48 hour contest mode. If you don't know what contest mode is, it basically takes your power and puts you 20 power under, making the activity very, very difficult. And that's why you're gonna to wanna to have a really strong build, a build focused on survivability, but still really good DPS output is really the way to go. Most of the time, I have a ton of different build videos in regards to that, and I have a bunch more coming, so look forward to that. We have enjoy bonus crucible ranks all week. I don't think very many people are gonna be playing crucible when there's a new raid out, but at least there will be bonus crucible ranks. If you wanna jump in, there will be crucible mayhem. We'll see how Strand hangs in mayhem. Which Strand super will you be picking for mayhem? Comment that down below. I'll be very interested in seeing that. We have the Nightfall will be the Battleground Mars, so we'll get to look at that. Then we have the Raid will be the Garden of Salvation Raid as the weekly featured raid, and the Dungeon will be the Grasp of Avarice. Now let's take a look at all of the Eververse items for Week 2 of Lightfall. For Week 2 of Lightfall, we have the Carbon Blood Shader made available for 300 Bright Dust, as you can see on this Titan right here. Next up, we have the Chitin Slate Shader, which you can see featured on this Hunter for 300 Bright Dust as well. We have the Spider Projection made available for 1,500 Bright Dust this week. The Read the Map emote is available for 3,250 Bright Dust. The Stow the Rings emote is available for 700 Bright Dust. The Dubious Correlation is available this week for 3,250 Bright Dust. This Sparrow is available for 2,500 Bright Dust in Eververse. This ship is available for 2,000 Bright Dust. For 2,000 Bright Dust, you can get this ship as well. And for the Hunter mains out there, we have this Stompy Ornament, obviously your favorite exotic, the most used exotic for all the Hunters for 1,500 Bright Dust. Love the aesthetic of that. For the Lion Rampants, for the Titans out there, we have an ornament here for 1,500 Bright Dust. I love this one right here, one of my favorite ones. And for the Warlocks, we have the Luna Faction Boots for 1,500 Bright Dust this week. For the DMT, we have an ornament for 1,250 Bright Dust. I love this ornament. And that's a wrap for everything happening, at least that we know of, in week two of Lightfall. Comment down below your thoughts. Make sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all the news of Destiny 2. Smash the like button. See you in the next one. Later.